Hi guys, it's Sheena. Um, so today I just got back from <clears throat> my doctor's appointment and um, yeah, it was, it was kind of a waste of time. Well, a couple of things happened this week. Um, I got a letter from the school, my university that I'm going to, and I found out that I am dropped off the health care um, policy or coverage because I'm only taking one class. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, it's my last class. It's um, senior seminar, and I have to take it to graduate. Um, but apparently, I'm not paying enough for school, even though I've paid a lot of money for my degree. Um, and... Um, I guess a good thing that happened is I had been trying to get a job for the past few months and um, this job that I really wanted was like my number one pick. It's only like five minutes away from where I live. Um, benefits are amazing. Pay was way better than what I was I, even willing to take and I'm able to use um, my some of my Spanish language skills which um, I don't think I've told you guys but I um, I lived abroad in Spain when I was like 16 so I lived in Europe for a year um, with a host family so that's how I learned Spanish as I lived in Spain and everybody thinks I'm Hispanic because I have brown skin so I was like what the heck I'll learn Spanish anyway since everybody thinks I'm Spanish or Hispanic um, so Okay, that was kind of long, but yeah, anyway, so anyway, it's a job where I can be able to improve my Spanish skills. I'm so excited that I got it, because it was exactly what I wanted. Problem is, is because I'm only taking one class, right now they only have me scheduled to work um, 32 hours a week, and in order to receive all the benefits, I have to work 40 hours a week. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, so I don't have health care through my university, and I don't have health care through my job because I'm only working 32 hours a week. I'm like, are you seriously? So I don't want to turn this into a health care rant because I will go off about it. And the doctor was all like, she was really sweet and stuff. And I was like, you know, honestly, I just found out that I don't have health care anymore. Um, so is there any way we could expedite this? I'm sure you guys probably want to put me on something like Clomid or... And she's like, oh, well, let me go get the other doctor and blah, blah. And so basically, and they were really sweet. It's not their fault that health care sucks in our country um, or in my country because some of you guys probably live in places where you actually get better coverage. Um, but so there's this study thing that I had mentioned to you guys before. Um, let me make sure it doesn't say anything. Okay. So she gave me this little brochure thing, and I'm going to call on Monday, and basically there's a study going on at the, it's at the same hospital that I go to, and it's a really great, it's good, a very good hospital. Um, so basically if you have PCOS and you're trying to get pregnant, they're doing this 20-week study where um, they'll, they have two medications that they're testing. Oh, I thought I showed you guys the, okay. Just making sure I'm not showing you the hospital. <laughs> not that I'm sure most of you guys are cool people, but there's some psycho stalkers out there in the world, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, it's so basically there's two different medications. Um, one of them would be Clomid, and then this other one is Letrozol or something like that. And they don't tell you which one they, they give you, but the Clomid is obviously. FDA approved, um, and then the letrozole, I guess, is you is approved by the FDA for treatment of local or mes metastatic breast cancer that is a hormone receptor positive. Letrozole is increasingly used to induce ovulation in women with PCOS as a first line of agent. However, it has not been approved by the FDA for this use. So basically, they may either put me on like Clomid or letrozole, and um, uh, everything would be covered, all of the medication would be covered by the study. It's the same doctors, like if I was to go to this hospital, um, and it's where I go um, to get any other treatment, like it's the same doctors that are doing the study too. 
Um, they will cover medication. They'll cover all of the costs for like the blood work. Um, physical exams, checking out old ultrasounds, looking at my ovaries, and pregnancy tests and all that stuff will be covered. Um, also, if they need to do a sperm analysis on my husband, that would be covered, which she did mention that they probably want to do that because they want to make sure that we're not dealing with two, you know, issues, PCOS and male factor infertility. Um, oh yeah, and if they needed to do something like IUI, that would also be covered. So, um, I'm going to call on Monday and just find out some information. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of options because of the fact that I've been dropped off of my health care plan. Um, but I'm going to talk to my new job and see if there's a way, because all I need to work would be an extra six hours a week. And I'm going to see if it's possible for me to, like, on the two days a week that I go to class, I, like, work 8 to 12 and then I go to class from 1 to 2.15 on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'm going to see if I can like come back to work at 3 and work like 3 to 7 and then if they okay me for that then that's awesome then I'll have really good health care because this job has amazing health care like they even have like a wellness plan and um, I can use it like I can use money for alternative medicine which I really am into like acupuncture, chiropractors, reflexology, um, all that stuff would also be covered. So that's why I'm just like, I really want to get the benefits from this job I got. But we'll see. But in the meantime, um, the doctor did say that I should, um, that they may want me to do Provera again, <clears throat> just so I can um, have a period because it's not good. <clears throat> she says it increases my chance of cancer um, by not menstruating on a regular basis. So yeah. Um, I tried to make, okay, I made another batch of mango jam, and I tried to film it, and it was a total fail, because, um, I used my camera, and then I didn't have enough memory on it, and it was terrible, it was, like, falling and everything, and then I was like, okay, I should use, I'll just use my laptop, and so I was trying to film me making mango jam with the laptop, and it was not happening. So I'm going to make another batch, and I'm going to have my husband film me this time, so that way I don't have to worry about, you know, cooking and trying to film, and yeah. I mean, I'm sure once I get used to using the camera and everything, it won't be a big deal. But I tried to film it, and I failed, so I will do it again for you guys, and it was so delicious, and I, I really want to put this recipe out there for anybody else who's a mango crazy person, too, because if you love mangoes, you'll love this recipe. Um... This game is pretty rambly. I'm not very focused today. Um, so yeah, I have a, another appointment with the acupuncturist on Monday. And my first time ever going to have acupuncture and she's a fertility specialist one. So I will probably make a vlog on Monday. I'll let you guys know um, how it went and if I get in touch with this um, PCOS study thing I'll let you know what they say because my biggest thing is I want to make sure that I can do incorporate alternative medicine because I don't care if they want to put me on medication and see if it works out and all that like that's fine and normally I don't like to take a lot of drugs and stuff I'd rather do it all natural but I don't know. I guess, you know, I, my bottom line is though I want to get pregnant, so whatever it takes kind of is what we're working with. Um, and the doctor, she tried to make me feel better. She's like, oh, you know, you you could be a part of, like, advancing medicine and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, really? No, actually, I would just be, like, a lab rat. So I'm, I'm a guinea pig, not advancing medicine, but whatever. <laughs> So that is what's going on guys, um, yay for I got a job that I really wanted, um, boo to um, health insurance being a biznatch, and that pretty much sums it up I guess. So I hope you guys are doing great, um, and I will talk to you guys later, bye.